Forbes has suggested these 15 prompts for project managers using ChatGPT, but do they actually work? Let's test them out. The first prompt is, come up with questions to ask during the meeting to start the project. Let's check the result. I think the response is on the spot. It covers pretty much everything. I'm testing the, I need your assistance in designing a project risk assessment template. Okay, I love the structure of the reply in general. It covers all the necessary points, but I think there's room for improvement. I want these tables to be combined into one. I'm sure it will be easier to handle information this way. Yes, now I love it better. Our next prompt is, please provide a handoff and project conclusion checklist. Oh, the AI understood the assignment. Two checklists with many details covered. Spot on. Moving on. I'm asking ChatGPT to generate a comprehensive project plan that includes objectives, business case, scope, timeline, stakeholders, and success metrics in a table format. Not bad, but I think it lacks details. I tried to regenerate it, but it didn't help. So I'm asking the AI to expand its initial response. Yes, now it brings more value. I'm testing the next prompt. Generate a project timeline with milestones, start dates, end dates, objectives, tasks, and responsible parties for launching a project. This prompt is excellent. The end table will help identify what needs to be done and who will be responsible for it. We're moving to risk analysis prompts. Identify potential risks associated with an e-commerce website and suggest mitigation strategies. This prompt is working well. I will ask it to change the format to a table. Oh no, there is an issue with HTML. I guess GPT has an issue with it. I will test the next prompt in this chat. Generate a detailed risk assessment for this project. Love how straightforward the response is. This prompt by Andy James will do risk analysis the other way around. I'm telling ChatGPT about my projects and risks I've discovered and I want them to be evaluated. It seems to repeat some of the risks I mentioned. Frankly, I would rather use the previous prompt. Prompt number nine, draft a project update email for stakeholders highlighting achievements, challenges, and next steps. What I love about this response is that it really looks like an email with all the things we usually write. Thumbs up. Next prompt, outline the key points from the report. Focus on any mention of animals. I feel it is extremely valuable if you need to review a big doc full of details and need to extract specific information. Great prompt. Testing the help me draft an agenda for the project status meeting. This AI came up with 10 points and up to three bullet points in each. I wanna make the list shorter. Excellent. Let's try the next prompt and see if ChatGPT can help with a resistance stakeholder. Unfortunately, we face the same HTML issue here. I believe that when you get feedback from the stakeholder, you may provide more details, which will expand the range of possible resolutions. Now I want ChatGPT to create a plan for my project. I can reply to an extract of the response and ask GPT to break it down further. All right, I love it. Again, I'll highlight something from the response and ask if the AI needs more details to cope with the task better. That's good. This method can help you understand the team's struggles and provide them with the necessary information right away. And the last one, I asked the AI to analyze the resource requirements for the project. I'm very satisfied with the result. If you want to test any of these prompts, they are all written in the description. Which one do you think is going to be more useful? Get Kanbanshi to enhance your project management.